know some of them saying, ain't they great? Boy. Amen, amen. Reading, he read Malachi chapter 8. Now I want to teach you something. Did, 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 do you remember this morning that I told you that God always has a controversy with his own? Yeah. It ain't with the world. It's with us. One of those is in Ezra chapter 6. I had to go back and refresh my memory. Well, we're not going to bother that. Here's another one here. We read this about this when a man robbed up. We don't even know what that's, that's all consisted of. So give me a few minutes to really let you, help you to understand this. Then I'll talk about who's French fries. <laughs> but, but notice in chapter, verse 1, chapter 3. Verse 1, chapter 3. When the Bible says, Behold, I will send my messenger. I will send my messenger. And he shall prepare the way And he me. shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord. And the Lord whom he see shall suddenly come to his temple. Shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the Even covenant. the messenger of the covenant whom you delight whom in. You delight in. Behold. Behold, he shall come. He shall come, said the Lord of hosts. Now, he said, boy, that's a lot. Now, you see, when you read, when you read, you kind of always go back to my elementary days. Who, what, when, where, and how. Who's involved in this? Did this even apply to me? Well, God is saying, behold. God is saying, Behold, I will send my messenger, and the messenger is Malachi. He's the one that's bringing the message. He's the one that's going to bring this message. But now, who is God talking to? Coffee? Well, you notice the word covenant is mentioned there. Mm -hmm. That's important. In that text, in chapter 1, he says, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall uh oh. Now I got it. Covenant. You got an old covenant and a new covenant. Old Testament, New Testament. Laws different under the covenant. But, but he didn't limit it to one covenant. He said, even the messenger, that messenger would not be Malachi, but that messenger would be John preparing the way for the Savior. So two, both covenants. Both covenants. You on the line with me now? So he's not only talking about the old covenant, he's talking about the new covenant. He said, and behold, he shall come, said the Lord of hosts. And then he starts revealing. But who may abide the day of this coming? Have mercy. Who's going to be able to abide when Jesus comes? And who shall stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's Fire. And like fuller's soul. And like fuller's soul. We're going to be able to stand for him in our negative position. That's why in Revelation uh, you see the writer said that he begged the mountains to fall on him. Hide my faith from him. But not, not any of you are righteous. And then he says he's like a finest fire and a full of soul. And he shall sit as a refiner and pure as a refiner of and pure of the silver. And he shall purify, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as and gold and silver. And purge them as gold and silver. That they may that they may offer unto the Lord our offering in righteousness. In right now, apparently, God had already told them what they had to offer. They wanted to circumvent what God had said to them. What God told them to do. Many of us want to. Now, I don't, I'm not saying it in a, in a negative way. 
I, I want you to think. I'm trying to provoke you to think. God told them what they had to do in giving. The Bible teaches us what we must do in giving. Yet we will find a way to justify or circumvent what God's word teaches. That, that's what's causing this confusion. And I know that because as you read, he says, read. Sorry, verse 1. Then shall the offer of the Jews in Jerusalem, Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord as the day in the days of old and as in former years. And in former years. And I will come near to you. I'll come to you to near to you. I'll judge you. And I will be swift I'll be witness against swift the sorcerers. With witness against. Oh, he said, I'm going to bring retribution. I'm going to bring retribution. This, this new covenant, retribution hasn't come yet. It's coming. Old Testament, retribution has come. It's coming. Now watch three. He said, I'm going to bring it against the sorcerers. I'm going to bring it against the I'm going to bring it against the false swearing. And against those that are against those that are pressing the hiring of his way. The I'm going to bring it against the wills of the fatherless. I'm going to bring it and turn aside the stranger from his right. And fear not, said the Lord of hosts. He said, for I am the Lord of the Lord. I hate God. If I did it under the old covenant, a covenant, I'm going to, you, you just keep living. It's coming. He said, I change not. Therefore, you sons Therefore, you sons of Jacob, be not consumed. Even from the days of your father, you've gone. You, 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 you've been running since you've been here. He said, even the days of your father are gone away from my audience. In other words, you know what I want, but you continue to give me what you want. He said, you have not kept them. See, notice he said, you haven't kept what I need them. Return unto, me, return unto me, and I will return, and I return unto you, said the, the Lord, Lord of hosts. But ye said, but ye shall said wherein shall we return? Read. Will a man rise the up? The infamous verse number eight. Will a man rob God? That's a question, isn't it? Yeah. Who's asking that question? Oh. Will a man rob God? God. Yet he have robbed. Yet you have robbed me. But he say. But you say where he have robbed, robbed me. thee in tithes and all. Tithes. I want to talk to us tonight. It's not going to be able to develop this thing when I get through with the story about the French fries. I'll be through. You, you guys ready for the French fries? God, God is upset. When this passage is written, no man has not literally drawn a gun God and robbed him. But everything that God has given us for his blessing and to glorify him, we have taken it and used it for our own sources. Everything. Amen. He blessed us with good health to support our families and actually to do his will here. We don't want to do that. He blessed us with cars and see, we don't have to travel like they did under the old covenant. Hey, we got cars, we got, and look, and look uh, something simple the other day, I was riding along and saying, Man, the gas coming down. Everybody kept lying saying, We can't get the gas down. It's coming down. You know why it's coming down? I have to think it's coming down because I prayed for it. I did. I don't know where you did or not. When I was taking that pump and then I couldn't afford a five dollars, five dollar work, and I wasn't getting uh, even a half a gallon. I said, Lord, this got to something to happen here. It's got to get cheaper. Yeah, and I'm serious. Look, this got to get cheaper. And the next thing you know, Obama, he said he couldn't do nothing about it. It's coming down. John Boehner said he couldn't do it. It's coming down. 
Now, I need to call him and tell him, y'all need me on your side. But, but everything that God has given us for his glory, we have taken it and used it for our own glory. And so God asked the question, will a man rob God? But all that I've given you, will a man rob God? Well, I asked that. I want you to think about your job. I want you to think about your family. I want you to think about your possessions and what God gives you. And I want you to use our little, little acronym I just gave you. N-U-T-S. Never underestimate. Because I think that's what we do. The world that we, what we do, we don't even really have to really emphasize. Uh, Paul writes in Romans chapter 8, if a man have not the spirit of God, he does not have it. We have access to it. The other state they have access, we actually have access to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And with that, gives us power. It does. It doesn't give us power to heal. But it gives us power to reason for what God's will is. Here's my story. Two fries ago. Think about this the other day. Get the love for Anybody get this love for And, and it's always parents who love french fries. If you got children, you love french fries because you got a child that comes up following you. They love french fries. And so what you do is you start making promises to the child. You clean your room, get your homework done, fold up your clothes, Put the dirty clothes in the hamper. Because I know you like French fries. I'm going to take you to get some. Oh, Lord. He's going to throw stuff around. And, uh, in fact, he reports back to you. I'm through. <laughs> and you want to reward him for following your instructions. Stay on the line. You want to reward him. So you carry him to his favorite place where he gets French fries. Could it be McDonald's? Worst guy. Could it be Burger King? Could it be, uh, what's the other place over there? Thomas, to reward him, they get everything done. You take them to their favorite place. Get these French fries. You stand in line, you tell your child, this stand. He stands there with his patient. You stand in line, you order fries. Because you're rewarding him, you say, they say, you want to upside, you get upside. <laughs> you get the tray, head to the table. Child is just going to spat you. Can't wait to get them fried. And the child sits down. And before, the, before he even prays, he starts on the fries. But you being the parent didn't want to buy no fries. You didn't want money to buy. But you reach over and get one of these. And fries are like potatoes. You can eat one. And so you go to reach over to get another one to satisfy the desire of the first one you get, and he starts doing it. <laughs> Don't say nothing, he just does this. And that sends a message that all you want is a second sign. And he starts protecting it like they he made it. The way he's protecting you, then he's fine. He, he, he don't want you touching him. He doesn't say anything because you're the parent and he knows that you would 
probably God will protect it. And if you reach over his fort that he built with his arm anyway, and you happen to get one, and then he can't open them no up. Why you want to get your own? That's what he said. Who fries are these anyway? And now you come out too bad. In McDonald's, you done, everybody stops to hear what you got to say. I'm the one that drove from the house to the restaurant. I'm the one that stood in line and ordered your fries. And now you act in line. These are your fries. I want you to know who fries are these. Anyway, you eating my fries. And protecting my pride. You didn't buy it. I bought it. You may have came up with the idea, but you didn't have money. Ideas don't buy anything. Money does. Show me what you want. So who fried? Show me what you want at that time. Are these Now I stop that and you see that every day. Some of you, some of you probably deal with it. I say, little boy, he, he's all up on the table hiding from his dad. And I said, you ought to just give him, give him, give him old, old black magic right upside the head. <laughs> but my point is, that fits in perfectly for what God is telling Israel here. It, it fits in perfectly. God is saying, I'm the one. That delivered you from bondage. I'm the one that brought you through the Red Sea. Traveled with you in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of cloud of fire by night. I'm the one that fed you now from heaven. Done for you what you couldn't do for yourself. And now, all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. you got the audacity yeah, to turn and do your own thing your own when I am the that's source right. of your blessing. Right. That's, right. that's, that's what you tell your child when he had the first I'm the source of your blessing. Right. I turn my stuff off, you don't get no more. Amen. Amen. God is doing it. He turned this stuff off, and that's we right. ain't getting no more fried. Right. Blessings are drying. Uh, not because God is not able to bless. Blessings are drying up because of our attitude toward God. Hardships we are experiencing now, we always had help through those hardships. But now that man thinks he can, he's his own source of power, God is backing off. God is still our source. Our power comes from Notice David say, it is he that is made of us. David said, we are his sheep. We, 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 we don't know. God is the one that's in control. And until men turn back, and I'm starting with us, I'm not worried about what other church of Christ are doing. I'm going to go down here this week to this next trip, and I'll be the biggest oddball right there. He's in worship. Not this old flesh, man. I mean, you just see the result. But but what makes this, like I said, about a cold. You 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 have a cold. You're coughing and sneezing and everything. That, that's that's not the cold. That's the symptom that you have a cold. The cold is a little bit of something. Other. It's a virus. The spirit resonates. And your spirit then comes be, get, becomes in conjunction with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Holy Spirit, so let me tell you, Holy Spirit is you're praising them, but it starts over here. You can't start over here. You can't start over here. You, you remember reading about those old old, old, old Mama T cars? So in them old Mama T cars, I like to. 
them were long key cards. You just couldn't get in like they got in when they just did push a button and start. Couldn't get in, just turn your key and start. No, no, no. You had to do something else before you drove that car. Thank God they're not like that in because some of them never get nowhere on time. You had to go out and crank that thing. And some of us too pretty to crank it. I can't crank that over there. You never would get nowhere. You do have to put something in it. If you want to ride in that car, you had to put some, some, some elbow grease. If you want to praise God, you got to put something in it. You, 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 you can't just start over here. You got to start here. You got to get your spirit in spirit uh, in conjunction with God's spirit. Then you can pray. You're saying that. Whether you were singing that tune, something from that tune. Yeah. You wave your hand there. You don't want to wave. Yeah. Same thing God has here. God is telling these folks, I'm upset with you. Because you've taken for granted everything that I've done for you. And I want to give you a chance to get back. That's what God is saying. In verse 6 or 5, brother, he wants to. And he tells them in verse 6, See, I'm the Lord God, and I just don't change. Just because you change. I'm not going to change. Hebrew writer writes, He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And just like you understood that illustration with being able to tell that child, don't you know, Junior, that I am? Source of your French fries. You wouldn't have French fries if it wasn't for me. I mean, no matter how strong your desire for them are, I'm the one that's going to have to get in the car and drive you. I'm the one that's going to have to get in line and order them. And last, I'm the one going to have to pay for them. So when you sit down to eat and I decide to sample one, don't go balling me off like I don't have no involvement. Some of us, God bless us with him. He blesses us with the job. He blesses us all the way around with our families, with our job, with our health. And when it comes to returning to God, we want to wall him off. Like you don't, you don't, you don't get that. You don't get none of this. So I want to tell you something. God's got a controversy. He's going to settle that controversy. So we have to, we have to, we have to recognize where we are in our relationship. Be willing to come back, repent, rededicate our lives. Tonight, tonight, if you're here, you need prayer. You're here tonight, and you, you listen. The only way that that we can get back to God is through mouth. You know, you, 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 we have to confess. That's why Jacob confessed our faults one to another. You said, well, I confess to God. He wants you to be real. See, you, you are transparent when you can admit to others that you have went wrong. He said, confess our faults. The Bible said, when we do that, he is just to forgive us. Listen, I thank you. I want you to know that God loves you. Come tonight, you understand. Stand me up, oh, I'm you to my name. I don't deny my name. I my name. Oh, oh, oh.